This is Grade 2, Module 5, Lesson 10. Uh, we're going to continue using math drawings to understand that standard algorithm. The difference is, in this lesson, it's going to be the students who are going to be drawing those little dots that, up until this point, I've been the guy that's been doing the dots here. But now, starting in this lesson, the students are going to be the ones who draw the dots and connect that to the uh, standard vertical algorithm. So here's our example. It says solve using the vertical form and then draw the chips. So over here, they're going to use the dots that to do the um, place value, the, ver uh, the number disks. And then over here is where they're going to solve using that standard algorithm. So let's write that standard algorithm. So 124 plus 260. Teachers and parents, the big thing is to make sure that they're lining up the ones on top of the ones, the tens on, stop, on top of the tens, and the hundreds on top of the hundreds. So we're getting these columns just like what's looking like over here. We've got our columns. Now, if we were going to model this, we would get our pen and we would model. Let's start by modeling 124. 124. This. And then uh, to model 260 would look like. Two hundred sixty. The interesting thing is there's nothing that gets put here because there are no ones in the number two hundred sixty. So two hundred sixty and no ones. So now it's time for us to start grouping things together and add things together. So right now in our ones column, well let's do the standard algorithm first because I think our students at this point can do this. This uh, curriculum is really incremental as we move from Lesson 8 to Lesson 9 and now to Lesson 10. It's very incremental. So at this point, students, some students definitely are going to be ready to use that standard algorithm. So let's take a look at this. The ones column, four ones plus zero ones gives us, oh, let's do it in green, gives us four in the ones column. And then two tens plus six tens gives us eight tens. So we're going to have eight in the tens column. And then 100 plus two hundreds gives us three hundreds in the hundreds column. Three dots in the hundreds column. Now we can verify that over here with our model. Four plus nothing gives us four dots in the ones column. Two tens plus six tens gives us eight dots in the tens column. We don't have enough to bundle. And similarly, one dot plus two dots gives us three dots in the hundreds column. So our answer is 384. And the last problem in this video, where I'm making it very short because the videos as we move from Lesson 8 to Lesson 9 to Lesson 10 is so incremental, it feels repetitious. Uh, this time, however, we're still being told to use the vertical form. We're also being told to draw that place value chart. The difference is they didn't provide that for us, so let's do that. Um, I, For whatever reason, I always do the, the vertical on the left. I don't know why, but I'm going to do that. Just I don't know, to be disagreeable <laughs> from Engage New York or Eureka Math. Um, so let's make our place value chart. And there's our hundreds, our tens, and our ones. And now we're ready to model. So we're going to begin by modeling 372. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two. So there's our 372. And then 100, 10, and 8 ones. So there's our, our model for the problem. 
And now we are officially ready to start our adding. So when we add, let's see. So when we add our tens, I mean our ones place, two ones plus eight ones, that gives us ten ones. So that means we're going to have nothing left over, and we can bundle all 10 together to equal a dot in the tens column. Now we have 7 tens plus 1 10 plus 1 10. That equals 9 in the tens column. We don't have enough to bundle. And then in the hundreds column, we have 3 hundreds plus 100. Put those together, we have 4 in the hundreds column. So we get 490. We could verify that over here. So we know we have 2 up here, and we have 8 down here. All together, that's 10. So we can bundle all 10 of those together for a single dot in the tens column. And we have nothing left over in the ones column. And now we can add the dots in the tens column. We have 7 plus 1 plus 1 gives us nine dots in the tens column and then we have three dots plus one dot is four dots in the hundreds column. So teachers and parents, some students are ready to go straight to the vertical method, let them. Other students need to do the place value chart first. At this stage in the game, let students choose which one they want to do first and which one they want to do second. Ultimately, everybody is going to do this first, but at this stage of the game, we'll let the students choose. And that wraps up this short one. That was Grade 2, Module 5, Lesson 10.